The holidays are here, so if you have family and friends in town, the perfect way to spend the afternoon would be taking a trip to the Florida Keys Eco Discovery Center. This is a world-class educational facility that's open to locals and, of course, visitors from around the world. Now, when you step inside the Eco Discovery Center, you will journey into the world of native plants and animals living both underwater and on land. Craig, thank you so much for being here with me today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for inviting us. Let's talk about everything that the Eco Discovery has to offer the visitors and locals. Okay. Um, well, I like to tell people it's kind of like the Key West trifecta. It's mm -hmm. three things that are really hard to find in Key West. First of all, it's totally free to the public. <laughs> that's Second wonderful. Is, I know, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, that's number one. And then we uh, are air-conditioned, so it's climate-controlled. On a hot day, that really feels good. And then last but not least, we have free on-site parking, which is a big thing in downtown Key West. Mm -hmm. So people are really surprised when they come into the center because, as you said, it is a world-class visitor center. It's sort of like a mini Smithsonian museum that has been picked up from Washington and dropped here into little funky Key West. It's mm -hmm. just a total shock to most people when they come in. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about 6,400 square feet. Uh, we have four distinct areas to, to teach people about the different ecosystems here in the Keys. Uh, one of them is the Living Reef, which has a big 2,500-gallon aquarium uh, with reef fish, a reef replica of coral. Um, we've just introduced a small nurse shark in there, so that's our newest addition to the aquarium, and that's a really popular exhibit. Uh, the newest invasive species here in the Caribbean and the Keys, the lionfish that everybody's talked about. We have a live lionfish, so people can actually see what one looks like. Um, we also have the terrestrial room, which is exhibits and displays all about the habitats above the waterline, the mangroves, the hardwood hammocks, the beaches, things like that. Um, and we have the underwater room, which is exhibits under the uh, underwater. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a 74-seat movie theater, state-of-the-art theater, where we show an absolutely beautiful video about the different habitats in the Keys. And it was made just for the Eco Discovery Center by the man who made the Free Willy movies. It's absolutely gorgeous. High really? definition, surround sound. It's really, really cool. Uh, and our newest exhibit is uh, a 3D video of Fort Jefferson, the Dry Tortugas National Park, and the underwater reef and the underwater scenes out there. It's absolutely breathtaking. You guys have everything under the sun. Yes, we, we try <laughs> right to. under one roof. So we, we try to entertain people while we're educating them, mm -hmm. so they don't even realize that they're learning as they're mm -hmm. going through the center. Yeah, it doesn't sound like that. What would you say is one of your favorite exhibits there? Do you have um, a favorite? Just one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I have two actually. Mm -hmm. I really like the aquarium, the big aquarium, because for a lot of people that can't go out snorkeling and diving in the actual ocean. This is about as close as they can get because they can stand right there and look in and see what a reef would look like if they were out in the water. And then my other one is the film, the 20-minute mm -hmm. video that we show because it's just absolutely stunning and it shows all the different habitats and ecosystems here in the Keys and how they're all interconnected. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a beautiful video. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that you're also showing films weekly? Yeah, starting in December, from mm -hmm. December through March, every Sunday, which we're normally closed on Sunday and Monday, but on Sundays, we'll be showing environmental films at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. So the doors will open at 1, and we'll have two films, two different films every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And is this free as well? Yep, it's all free. <laughs> yep. You just cannot beat this. <laughs> now, I have a question for you. What would you say when the people come into the Eco Discovery Center? I asked you your favorite thing, but what do the kids love? What do they love the most? Um, wow. That's a tough one because it, you know, it just really depends on the age. The younger kids, we have a uh, small mock-up of the Aquarius. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's the world's only undersea laboratory. Mm -hmm. That's up in Key Largo in about 60 feet of water. And we have lots of video banks inside the replica. And you push a button and you can go all the way from the surface down to 1,600 feet deep and watch a video of those different uh, zones. And the kids really like pushing the buttons and watching the different uh, videos. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's some switches in there and some more videos. So that's one of the kids' favorites, I think. So important to be interactive, too, like that, have interactive machines. Now, <coughs> do you open this for tours, school tours, public oh, groups? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we're open to everybody. Mm -hmm. And we opened in January of 2007. So we're coming up on six years. And in that time, I think I figured out we ha we've had about 230 different schools uh, come down with multiple visits a total of over 12,000 students that have been through it in the uh, almost six years that we've been open. 
and we've had visitors from all 50 states, all the Canadian provinces, and 84 other foreign countries. So, wow. so we're getting people from all over the world. Now, I know you have expanded quite a bit, but do you have any future expansion goals? Well, there is a phase two where we're going to try and, if the funding is available, mm -hmm. uh, put in a diorama of an underwater scene uh, and some more exhibits like that. But right now, with the way the economy is, the budget is just not there. But we do have expansion plans in the future. Okay, well, hopefully everybody can make their way to the Eco Discovery Center at least once, and I'm sure once they make that one trip, they'll want to continue coming exactly. back. Exactly, and let me and throw again. in the hours, Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Great. For any more information, you can contact Craig. Just send him an email at the email address you see or give the phone number a call. Craig, thank you so much for being here. Right. Thank morning. you, Jenna. I enjoyed it. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Stay with me.